Hey, what's up guys? Phil Pelto here with My Firestorm. And I've been going around and doing some speaking lately and a couple of things have popped up as some things that I wanted to get on video and just share with everybody out there. So the first thing that I wanna talk about is this, uh, um, when you're starting business or you're getting into sales or anything like that, um, there's, uh, People sometimes have unrealistic expectations of how fast things are gonna accelerate and how much time it's gonna take for them to, to build up their, their sales funnel or to build up their pipeline or, or in the case of a network, which is what I do in you know, networking um, and relationships, it, um, people have unrealistic ex expectations of uh, how long it's gonna take to build those relationships and see fruit from that. So um, I like to use this graph and uh, there's a few industries that are really good at explaining this to people ahead of time, um, but as a small business uh, person or salesperson that's uh, getting out on, on your own, um, a lot of people don't talk about this. So um, there's this graph that I like to use, looks like this, and we're gonna say this is uh, the beginning here, and this is time, and kind of goes on into perpetuity. And then uh, up here, we've got the effort that you put in, and these are the results that you get back. All right, so what you notice here is in the beginning, you're putting in all this effort and you're not getting anything in return. And if you're not mentally prepared for this, it's gonna shake your world and you're gonna be really frustrated and you're gonna think like, why the hell did I sign up to do this? So um, if, if you can mentally prepare for this, it's not as bad. So um, when you're going out and you're prospecting and you're cold calling, you're knocking on doors and you're going out for coffee with people and you're building relationships and everything, um, you gotta put all that effort in and you're not gonna see a whole lot right away from that. So you continue to do that. You continue to do that, you know, and whatever this is, month one, month two, you get into the first year, the second year, and all of a sudden you start getting a little bit more and a little bit more results. And at some point there's gonna be uh, an equilibrium. So you're you're getting the same uh, uh, results out as you're putting in. And so that's that's a nice place to be and you feel pretty good about yourself. Um, but really what, uh, what we wanna see is all these results and a little bit of effort to put in. And, and that doesn't happen uh, overnight. It takes a long time to build that up and it takes a lot of diligence in maintaining those relationships and going out. But um, there's an interesting story. Uh, when I was selling copiers, this was back in like 2004 or something, um, I, uh, I did it for 10 months and it, it wasn't my longest job by any stretch, um, And uh, but it was a tough grind. So anyway, I'm going out and I'm cold calling, I'm knocking on doors, I'm doing all the work, I'm coming back to the office with you know big piles of cars and I was selling stuff, you know, I was having some results. Um, but when I decided to transition into a different job, it was uh, the 10th or 11th month that I was there. And um, I wound up having my best month ever right before I left. And it was because of all the, the, the contacts that I had made up until that point. And some of the stuff just started popping and bearing fruit. And uh, so I just want to encourage everybody to remember this graph. And uh, don't worry, you know, when, when you're putting in a bunch of effort in the beginning and you're not seeing a ton of results, that's okay. You know, as long as you do that consistent, consistently and you focus on all the, on the effort, um, the results are going to come. And also another thing to remember about this is as you continue on in time and you're doing the same thing, um, you get better at it. You know, you get more skilled and you learn how to handle objections and you learn how to handle certain situations and stuff. So, um, part of this has to do with just becoming an expert in what you're doing. So anyway, that's, uh, that's what I want to share with you guys today. And I hope you have a great day. See ya.